I do have the latest images of Interstellar Object 3i Atlas for you. They have been taken on October 31st. They're brand new and they're not the images that we're still waiting for from NASA, despite Congress now requesting the release of these images. No, I have new images from the Lowell Discovery Telescope Happy Jack in Arizona, USA. And this is not the only amazing new detail that is being released about interstellar object slash comet slash potential alien spaceship 3i atlas we want to look at the scientific explanations and what it is doing and what it has been doing and every time they have a closer look at this object there's a new thing added to the mystery one thing for sure, guys, that we definitely know, this thing is not from our solar system. This is an alien thing. It doesn't mean alien technology, but an alien piece of massive rock the size of Manhattan. That is definitely for sure. So we are really witnessing something extraordinary. That's why I think it's so interesting to look at what it is doing. It's, it's a visitor from beyond our solar system and it's coming through our backyard. That's absolutely amazing. And make no mistake, guys, this is not just another comet. We're looking at this interstellar object that's a piece of an alien star system that has never before entered our space, at least not since we started noticing these things. And it's behaving in ways that leave scientists scratching their heads. Why? Because right now, what they found, it is brightening in unexpected ways. It's putting out odd gas signatures. It's traveling at incredible speed and yes, some scientists are even speculating, could it be alien technology? I want you to stick around in this video because the data keeps piling up and the implications are huge. So if you can hype this video and give it an early light, I would be very grateful if you could support my channel like that. So let's dive in. What is 3i Atlas? Why is it so important? What weird behavior it is, is it showing? And why is some imagery being withheld? And what might this mean for us? Let's start with, with the basics so that we're on the same page. On July 1st, 2025, the Survey Telescope Network, it's known as Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, in short, ATLAS, in Chile, has detected an object that was moving so fast on such a trajectory that it it couldn't have originated from our solar system they knew this right away and they looked at it and they said what is this so they named it 3i atlas the third interstellar object atlas because before there had only been two objects one eye Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019. So according to NASA, this object will not pose any threat to Earth. That is what they're saying. So why not releasing the images then? It's closest and the threat to Earth, if it was a normal comet, it's not going to crash into the Earth. It's, its closest approach to our planet will be about 1.8 astronomical units, the shortcut is AU, and that's around 170 million miles um, and roughly 270 million kilometers away from us. It has reached perihelion, the closest point to the sun, around October 30th, and it came without 1.4 AU, that's 130 million miles or 210 million kilometers, just within the orbit of Mars. But what makes it especially valuable to the scientists is that it was discovered before perihelion. And that gives us a very, very rare long time observation window to study this interstellar object that is inbound. Why should we care about this? Well, guys, 
because 3i atlas it is not just another stray chunk of rock or ice it's a direct messenger from another star system it carries material physical matter that's formed somewhere else somewhere alien so that means it can tell us about planetary formation, chemical composition, and the environments that are present in other solar systems. It's, it's stuff that we couldn't get any other way right now with our current technologies. And also, if we detect odd behaviors, anomalies, unusual composition, unexpected trajectories, this is a chance to test whether interstellar objects could behave in ways very unlike to our local comets and asteroids. That, guys, really has big implications for astrophysics, planetary defense. NASA has activated their planetary defense, by the way. We're laughing, but guys, we have to take this serious, especially if we do not 100% know what it is. And it has also, that's why I'm saying this, big implications, yes, for speculative scenarios about extraterrestrial intelligence. So we could say that 3i Atlas is a cosmic gift of sorts, but one that may be puzzling, perhaps disturbing, but absolutely worth our attention. So what weird behavior is being observed? And that's where things get strange because 3i Atlas isn't just behaving a little bit weird. It's showing multiple anomalies. It's moving very fast. Its incoming speed is far higher than typical solar system comets. It shows a coma that's a gas-like envelope around the nucleus and significant water ice features. For example, observations show a coma that is dominated by CO2 with a very high CO2 H2O ratio, about 8.8 to 1. Remarkably higher than typical comets from our system that we know. And it's active at large distances. Other comments comets would be relatively inert. We have dust and gas behavior that looks odd. Some reports also say that it had an anti-tail or dust streaming towards the sun rather than away from the sun, which is very unusual. Some researchers, Avi Loeb, for example, have even published papers that are suggesting the object might be technological. I've reported about this, possible even hostile. Although this remains speculative and controversial, Avi Loeb, for example, says he gives it only a 40% chance that it might be an alien spaceship, but he says if it is, it would have dire implications for the Earth. And that's why we really should get our heads together to really find out what exactly that it is. The technological theory of artificial origin is not the mainstream view. Most scientists still treat 3i Atlas as a natural object, but a very mysterious and odd one where they do not know exactly what it is. But that oddness is exactly why we should pay very close attention. Because here's where things get interesting, guys. As the inbound object passed by Mars and approached the Sun, there was an expectation of very high resolution imagery from various spacecraft and telescopes. But there has been Guys, I would call it frustration, although it's a little bit more than that, in the public and in the scientific community about why the highest def images aren't being released. Why? For example, the object passed within 30 million kilometers of Mars around early October. And the European Space Agency's Mars orbiters, like Mars Express, ExoMars, trace gas orbiter they planned to capture it so that was early october we have early november right now 
And in some reports on the US side, NASA has declined or delayed to release these ultra high definition images from their high rise telescope. Some say this is because of the government lockdown, but the images have been created in collaboration with universities that are not on lockdown and could release these images. So this is raising questions from many people asking, why is NASA so coy? Of course, for many of us, the combination of this odd behavior of 3i Atlas and the delayed imagery is fueling speculation. Also among scientists, I really have to say that. And Congress has now written a letter. You can look it up here. You can click pause and read it if you like. They're demanding answers. So this is not just some tinfoil hat alien conspiracy people that want to see these images. I mean, now we have the new images here that just came out basically two days ago, right? So what's the problem? So of course, then, what could this mean? What could 3i Atlas be? Are they hiding something? Well, still, the most prevalent theory is it has a natural origin, but an anomalous composition. That's the most conservative scenario. 3A Atlas is an interstellar comet formed in another star system, ejected via gravitational interactions, and now passing through our system. Its odd behavior and composition tells us about a low metallicity or a very old system, or a different formation environment. Everyone is agrees this thing is very old if it's a natural comet. So this is scientifically already powerful enough. So it's natural, but it's exotic. The object formed under very unusual conditions that could have led to this CO2 rich nucleus that it have, high activity at distance, strange tail orientation, and so on. We have nine anomalies right now. So still natural, but far outside what we're used to, forcing us to definitely revise our models about what comets can do. And then we have the artificial technological scenario. It's a very speculative scenario, yes, I admit. It's mainly championed by Avi Loeb, this Harvard researcher. I'll put his bio here so that you can see it. So it's quite an impressive bio. And there's some other researchers that agree with him. So in that case, he's, case he says, Four out of 10, he gives 3i Atlas the possibility that it might be an alien probe or piece of technology, perhaps a relic or even a deliberate visitor. So if that was true, and that's a big if, this would be earth shaking, so to speak. But there's no verified evidence of this yet, guys. Let me emphasize that. So what about the planetary defense and the observational implications? Well, even if this object is natural, the fact that such an object exists and we actually detected it gives credence to the idea that many interstellar objects may traverse our system undetected. That has implications for future detection systems, um, spacecraft missions and even how we prepare for the unknowns. Because if an object from another star system can pass through our star system with odd composition or behavior, it definitely opens up question about material exchange between systems. And I want you to look at this new picture that we have from Happy Jack in Arizona. And it's a gravity rotational lensing of 3i atlas by the sun. So what are we seeing in this image here? Gravitational lensing, guys, so that you know what this is. It's when the gravity of a massive object, in this case here the sun, bends the path of light that is coming from an object behind it. And 3i atlas is behind the sun. And when 3A Atlas passes very close to the sun at perihelion, it's 
at perihelion, the closest approach, then the geometry makes it a good candidate to see that lensing effect. Because if we can measure that lensing effect, it gives us an extra information about 3i atlas, its distance, its path, and how the sun's gravity is interacting with the object, especially because it already has so many weird properties. Measuring the lensing is another piece of the puzzle. And if things will not add up, that means the lensing effect doesn't match expectations. That signals something unusual again about this object. So in other words, imagine a big rock from another star system flies into our solar system and we don't need to imagine it. I mean, it's happening. And it, then it comes very close to the sun and as it does, the sun's gravity slightly bends the light that it's coming from the rock towards us. So if you picture light as a straight line, the gravity makes it curve a little bit. And by measuring how much it actually goes away from a straight line, how much it curves, we will learn more about both the piece of space rock and the sun's gravity at that distance. So we can actually learn about the sun as well. We have this unusual, strange interstellar rock. So what Avi Loeb is saying, for example, he says, let's check this bending effect and let's see if it behaves like we expect. And if it doesn't, something odd is going on. So guys, I hope you like this. If you want to learn more about 3i Atlas or what's going on in the world, subscribe, click the link in the end screen. I have put some very interesting videos for you there. You won't be bored, I promise. Thank you for your support. Link in the description if you want to buy me a coffee and support the channel. And don't forget, hype and like this video. Thank you so much. Stay safe and I see you here.